Hi viewers, and today we're looking at a part and actually had to create a feature on one of those parts. I've been asked this by a viewer, and what they've asked is we have this internal structure here, and our focus is around this hole here. Now, if you look at it, we've got a hole and we've got a chamfer that goes right to the base and goes around this hole. Now, the viewer has tried to actually do this, and what's happened is it's created the hole with the with the casing but the chamfer only goes halfway and then it's straight to the base and I'm going to quickly recreate that now so we can actually show you how to solve that and this actually requires the draft face tool to actually allow you to do this and we'll go through that tool in a minute and what I'm going to show you is the actual problem we actually have first so I am going to take a look at this. So I'm going to just create a simple square with this kind of structure, and then we can go from there. So the problem what we got is if I come in here, and we can see that this side here, we want this to actually flare out so we get like a skirt so if we use the chamfer tool so let's click on this edge here that edge there and use the chamfer it's only going halfway down no matter how much we add on to that it's not going to go to the depth that we want even if we whack this right up, I suppose I can go actually 29 there, uh, 29, 30. See, it's not actually having really any effect. It's not actually allowing us to go all the way to the base. Let's cancel out that. So, what we need to do is actually add a make a draft on the face. So I click the face and click make a draft. Looks like nothing's happened, but there is some movement in this face. So if I bring this up further, you can see this is actually starting to move. So I'm going to use my up and arrow up and down arrow keys here. And I'm just going to bring this out, and you can see this is starting to come right out. So I keep on going. You can see how that's been applied now. So that's gone right down to the base, and that's the effect that we're looking for. So I'm just going to bring it away from that back a bit. And I'm going to go through the actual tool in a minute. So I'm going to I'm going to have this as an angle of 20 on here. Now I've got to select a neutral plane, and that's the plane that won't move. So obviously this plane here won't move. So we click neutral, and we select the neutral plane. So I'm selecting this face here. Now I can add another face if so desire. So I'm going to go add face. I'm going to click on this face, and add face and click on this face so those are all the faces that have been added and that's the effect that we need so if I jump back to my image there you can actually see that it's a very similar effect that we got so let's run through the tool and show you actually how the tool works so I'm going to close that down now and cancel out this. I'm going to delete everything on screen except for the body. Yep. And the two sketches can go as well. And all I'm going to do is go, click on the body and add a additive box. So I want a simple object to use. I'm going to OK that. Let's bring it to position and I just can click on the bottom. Actually, 
let's do this right, click on the top so look, looking top down now the easiest way to explain how this actually works is that I am going to select all the sides of this cube so I'm going to click one side hold down control click the next swing this around using alt I've taken my finger off control while I swung this around using the alt hit control again select another side swing this around hit control again while holding down control select the other side so I've selected all four faces on that side of the cube so the right the rear the left and the front and the top and bottom haven't been selected now if I come up to the make a draft on a face or on the part design menu we can see we've got chamfer draft there so we want draft those four faces have been selected and now we can actually change, change the angle so I'm going to go for an angle of 30 there and you can see when I hit 30 then nothing has actually happened so if you have problems like that what's actually happened it's gone beyond the actual the, the angle limit if you think about it let's just go something like 10 degrees in here you can see if I bring this up we get to a point where we'll go into error so there is, we're almost getting the, the error there. I know there's a little point there, but if we go beyond that point, we're actually into error. So I'm gonna go for something like a pyramid with a flat top. So just remember that if you do like 90 in there and it doesn't actually look right, that's because you've gone into error. Nine. See, I can't even put 90 in there, so I've put 50. See, now we've gone into error. So, is it 20? There we go. So, it's a good idea to actually start with this so you can actually see what's going on. So, selected all four sides. I'm going to click top so you can see what's happened. So, we've got our sides, our faces, and what's happened, it's drafted the angle up to the top. Now, if I click OK here, it's going to cause an error because you have to actually select a plane or an edge plus a pull direction now this is the actual one you should be looking at missing neutral plane so don't worry about that because that actually is quite confusing it sounds like what you need to do is actually select both of these but it's, you only need to select one so the neutral plane is the plane that is not going to move so for instance with this one plane that's not going to move is going to be the bottom because that's not being actually amended or mutated in any way so click neutral plane and I'm going to select the bottom so what's happened is that it's gone back to its default state so don't worry about that just select the bottom so that now is back to normal so I'm telling it that this plane won't move now I can actually show you what happens if I select the top as a neutral plane. So neutral plane, we're on top at the moment. So I'm going to select the top. And what I'm told it is that this plane won't move now. So it's actually gone, looks like it's actually taken some degrees off, but it hasn't, it's just recalculated itself. So if I change this now, the bottom should flare out. There we go, so the bottom is flaring out there. Hit top, you can see what's happened. Now, we can actually see what goes on with this by actually starting to remove faces now. So, if I click remove face, and it goes back to its default, and what we'll see is the sides will go purple if I roll over them. There we go, so you can see the actual sides that are being used. So all these faces here are these purple sides when I roll over them they go a pinky colour so I'm going to remove the left face there we go now if I hit top you can see what it's done so I've actually removed this face 
from the actual draft face operation. So you can see everything else has been chamfered to the base, but except for this side. And what I'll do is remove another face. So I'm going to remove this side now, the right, and you can see what's going on. So there you go. So that's that's actually how that uh, draft works. Pull direction. It starts to get a bit complicated when you go into pull direction because sometimes it will go into error and it will actually create a very strange result. Um, so I tend to keep away from pull direction at the moment. Um, I think in FreeCAD 0.19 it's much easier to use. It seems to be in the older versions it seems to be a bit buggy. So I'm keeping away from poor direction from this tutorial. So I'm going to show you another example. So we've got this part here, simple part with some rings on here, and we're going to add multiple drafts through this. So the first one I want to do is create basically like a plant pot shape with this one here. And we're going to reverse the actual direction of the draft of this one. I know I said I don't want to go into pull direction, but I'm not going to actually go into set the pull direction, I'm going to just go into reverse in the pull direction. So what I want to do is get into actually looking at adding multiple drafts to these faces so we get these kinds of effects, how you would go about doing this kind of thing. So if I wanted to create like a plant pot shape on this one, I'll select the outside make a draft and I'm going to reverse the pull direction and I am going to also make the top of it neutral so when we move this what actually happens is the base goes in so we've kept the thickness but the base has gone in if I did it the other way around don't want to go too far otherwise it goes into error if I did it the other way round, so neutral plane on the bottom, then you can see it's gone this way. So if I change this, the thickness is changed, it actually gets thicker. So I'm going to change the thickness and just keep that thickness here. So it's gone into error there. Let's just bring that back down. There we go. So I'm going to go for something like that. So we're OK that, and then we can do the same to the inside. It's like modeling clay, really. So that inside there, I'm going to hit make a draft on the face again. So face 12 has been added and I'm going to start moving it so let's move see that's got actually so that's actually started tapering outwards which I can go right up to the edge if I so, do, so desire so we've got our face that follows the same line so we've actually created like a, a plant pot there and our neutral plane obviously is inside. So this one I'm going to make an upside down plant pot. So I'm going to click on the actual face, the outside, and I'm going to draft the face, make a draft on this face, and I'm going to see which way it goes. So that's the way that I want it to go, which is ideal. We also really want the inside to go and we'll do that with another draft so I'm going to hit natural plane and select the inside so at the moment if we cross section this we'll just have basically a hollow straight cylinder in there and this flanged out shape here 
if I clear that, I'm going to go inside, create draft for inside. Now what we want to do is move this outwards. So I'm going to hit natural plane and select this plane here. So that will stay static and then we can actually start moving the inside. So at the moment that's going in. So we don't want that so we can reverse the pull direction. And that's reversed it that way. Okay, that. Now this one, I'm going to do the reverse of all those and actually have the internal curved inwards and the external curved outwards. So click on the internal. And this one's going to curve inwards. It's almost like a, a popper type construction. So click on draft. So face 11 has been selected. You can see face 11 selected there. And I always like to get the bearings of what that's going to do. So that is actually correct. Natural plane is inside. Now, actually thinking about it, that can be correct or we could say that the natural plane is here and we can move the internal. So that's the best way to do it, I think. So we're going to create something like that inside. So it funnels down. And I'm going to click OK on that. I'm going to click on the outside, oops, click on the outside there, and we're going to create a draft on that face. Now, I want the natural plane to be here, and we're going to fan out to the bottom. like so. Click OK with that. So there you go, so that's how to use the draft face there and reverse and pull direction and use the natural plane and I hope that's helped. I hope that's helped the viewer that asked me the question and I'll see you again soon. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to my site. And also I have a Ko-Fi site um, where you can actually donate a few pence or a few pounds, dollars, or whatever your currency is. And that's at ko-fi.com slash M-A-N-G zero. And there you'll be able to help me fund my site and all the money that I actually get from any funds will actually get pushed back into the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing. I'll see you next time.